Hi, I'm Rob Sink, Product Specialist with Yokogawa's Control Instruments Business Unit. Uh, today we're going to talk about changing the uh, process variable scaling on your YS1700 controller. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and we're going to go into the YS1700 using the keys on the front to uh, change the scaling. Um, by default, as you can see here, the controller defaults to a scaling of 0 to 100 percent based on your uh, 4 to 20 milliamp or 1 to 5 volt uh, input signal for the process variable. Uh, to do this, what we're going to do is uh, hold the shift button, which is just below the uh, output uh, display, and push the page key once. And then one more time to take you to the engineering menu one. We're actually going to go into the config2 menu and you access that by pushing the A button. This brings up the config2 screen. Um, we need to change uh, three parameters on the screen or at least look at them. Uh, we have SCH1 which is your scale high, SCL1 which is your scale low, and SCDP which is the uh, decimal point position. Um, the, we can also uh, change the unit, which is actually uh, just a tag for the uh, engineering units. So to start this, we have to first highlight the first parameter on the screen, which is set. We do that by pushing the uh, down arrow button, which corresponds to the A. We'll see here that the set is uh, currently highlighted, and any changes right now are inhibited. So to change that to enable, we have to push the, uh, the physical up arrow key once, and you'll see that the, uh, the set screen, or the set parameter changes to enable. Now we can hit the soft down arrow button, which is your A key, move down to your scale high one, SCH1. And for this example, let's say, um, our 20 milliamp or our 5 volt signal represents 500. Um, and our scale low is going to be zero. So our 4 milliamp or our 1 volt is going to be equivalent to zero um, GPM in this case. Uh, first of all, let's go down to the SCDP and take a look at that, which is your decimal point position. The way it is now, we have one number to the right of the decimal, and that's fine. So let's go back up to the scale high setting. The value we have in there right now is 1,000. And based on the decimal point position, that setting, this is actually going to be, the 1,000 is actually translated into 100.0. So to have a scaling of 0 to 500 GPM, we need to put in 5,000 here. So we can do that by holding the up arrow key. And it takes a while at first. But um, after you keep holding that key in, that value will start uh, increasing at a faster rate. Oops. So that's 5,000, and like I said, um, with the decimal point position at um, one number to the right of the decimal, the 5,000 is really 500.0. The scale low, we already talked about, is going to be zero uh, for our four milliamp signal or our five, uh, one volt signal. So we can leave that the way it is. So we've finished the scaling portion now we can move down to the, um, the unit, which is just a uh, tag for the engineering units. Uh, we're going to change it from percentage 
to GPM. So if we just scroll through here. Using the A button, we can cursor over to the uh, uh, position where we want to put in a value. Using the up arrow keys is where we would actually put in the um, tag numbers, special characters, or letters. So we want GPM. There's our G. We'll shift over, change the next digit to a P. Shift over to the last digit or spot. Okay, we've got GPM. Now that's set. We've got the range set up to zero to 500 GPM. Um, we don't need to push any special buttons to save those values. Those are automatically saved on the controller. Uh, the set parameter here at the top gets set back to inhibit once we leave the screen. So to get out, just hold the shift button and push the page key once. And now we see that our scaling has changed from zero to 100 percent to zero to 500 GPM. That simple. Thanks for viewing the video. If you have any questions on uh, this controller or any other Yokogawa products, please give us a call 800-524 7378.